So here's a tutorial that will show you how to add page numbers in Canva. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below where you can use that to either get Canva for free or simply log in for easier access. So probably the easiest way to do this is simply add in your page numbers first. I haven't figured out a way where you can actually do it. And then of course, like it shows everything as page one, page two on the bottom left or the bottom right. So nevertheless, what we want to do here is say like go to add a heading or you could just add any other text. And what I'm going to do is just do number one. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller by a little bit, probably a lot more. I think that looks fine. What I want to do is just simply put it, you know, at the bottom right. That's where I would normally look for the pages. And just to make your life easier, if you want to add anything else to this, you know, to make it look spiffy, maybe it's a square, maybe it's a circle, a triangle, a shape around it, a different color. I would recommend doing that first because what, however you design this and however you edit it, it's going to be best once you do that first. The reason I say that is because all we need to do from here is do duplicate page. When we get to the second page, we change it to two. Of course, when we get to the next page, we go to three. And then of course, from there you can always change everything else that needs to be done. So that's the reason why I say just simply put it in one spot, make it spiffy, do everything you need to, and then duplicate it so that you don't have to keep going back and duplicating and redoing everything. Okay. So for example, let's just say we go to elements here and let's say we have shapes. Shapes look cool. How about a this? And let's change that color. Since it's marketing island, let's do something a little tropical. Maybe this big. And let's say we want to put it here just like that. So now you see like if I did this later, now I'm going to have to go back and like just re-add that in. So probably what I would do is just like delete this, delete this. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is cracking. So let's copy this. Now we all have to do is just change the number. And of course, we'll do it again. And depending on how many pages you have, that's pretty much going to be the process. It's as easy as just adding some text down there, duplicating what you have. And of course, make sure you actually make some changes to it. So you finalize it and then you want to duplicate just to save yourself some time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.